Hey everybody. So Opalescent Immersion is about to come out and I am so excited. I have been swimming with these mermaids for months and it is time to cut the cord. <laughs> Um, but I wanted to talk to you. I kind of teased about a bit of a secret coming out and I wanted to talk to you about the middle books. Okay, so I have 12 books planned, right? Well, three of them are standalones at the end. And so this first nine have a central story to them. And in the middle books, I'm going to get to do something that I have been dying to do forever actually not forever because I guess as a kid I probably would have never thought about doing this but as an adult and when I started writing I thought this would be crazy fun to do so I'm gonna dare and try I am gonna have Charlotte doo -doo -doo, <laughs> cross over to the other side really <laughs> Guys, I am really excited to bring this to the story. I think it's important in literature that we have all kinds of characters. I even go so far to say that we need Mary Sue's. I know everybody's like, I don't want a Mary Sue and I don't want things to be perfect. And by the way, in my first book, because I am doing a reverse fairy tale, things are kind of perfect at first. Um, but that's why I've done that and shown that part of the book. And I guess with so many books to do, I can do that. I can take her on a longer passage. Um, so Charlotte's been struggling and she's going to continue to struggle. And I think all the stuff that she's been in struggling with, whether or not that she said it out loud or it doesn't matter how much time I've spent on it in the books, it's all kind of going to collide in book five, which I'm working on right now. Um, so that's my secret for the middle books. I'm totally setting her up and that's probably totally mean, but I really love the chance to have her choose the wrong things. And I'm not talking about like a paragraph or a chapter. Um, she's really going to go all in for a little bit. And it's not going to be just a little bit. And she's going to do some things that are completely wrong. <laughs> um, although, I mean, to be honest, bad guys think what they're doing is right. And so in her mind, she's going to have reasons and justifications for what she's doing, I guess. But I, I see beauty in stories and in characters and I see beauty whenever there's hard stuff and I think that's what I want to show with Charlotte is the beauty but I'm also in order to show that I have to show the darkness so she's gonna go through dark times and how long that lasts I cannot tell you for sure it's gonna be at least a little bit over a book um, so I just wanted to kind of prep you for this. And maybe it's too spoilerish. I don't know. I hope I didn't ruin everything for everybody. But I've kind of been upfront about Charlotte's journey anyway since the beginning. Um, and the other thing about this that I'd like to say is I think it's important to not only show that, but to show the process afterwards. Because I really do believe that you can change and that's why I'm showing her changing for the bad and then later changing for the good um, but there are consequences for what she's gonna do and that's the other beautiful thing about it is when she's done finally you're gonna see reactions from the community and reactions from the people who loved her and she loved them and I I love that because I think we all sometimes have something we're running from or hiding from. And um, I think we all deserve to have somebody love us no matter what. Um, so stuff to look forward to. I'm so excited. Um, I also wanted to say that I have some new things coming up. And I'm hoping to get them rolled out slowly over the next several months. Um... I'm going to try to do a lot more vlogging. I've already talked about this and it's something I want to do. Um, I, but I'm 
need to work on getting some short concise videos and probably to have eventually it should be coming up soon my own office again where I can do this without well holding up <laughs> this phone <laughs> which is hurting my arm especially after so many bloopers that I've messed up today um so there is my secret guys we're going to the dark side I hope you enjoy I think it'll be great in the end um so we'll see. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. And I will be back soon with more things. Um, I should probably say what I'm doing, shouldn't I? Um, I'd like to do some short vlogs on writing. And the for me, like balancing writing and kids and everything else. And just some positive things just to talk about. So anyway, you'll be seeing a lot more of me soon. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Thanks.